Even if you copy and paste, bro, you're still gonna pass, but guess what? <laughs> Your head is empty. <laughs> you sit in the office and the man say, where can I find the main office? Like, it's in the washroom over there. <laughs> I'm not speaking. Can you sit there with empty skull, is it? You copy and paste for four years. <laughs> well, hey, I'm doing a degree in law at the University of Bradford, final year. Everyone is copying and pasting, man. Except me. <laughs> Do you believe I don't copy and paste? No, we don't copy and paste. The point I'm making is, you know, Mariam, she had to turn there and shake that fat tree like this. This is to show Muslims, we don't sit home and we break. You know, many a times you think Muslims is the one who just sits there and he goes into sujood and he raises his head and he makes a dua. What's, he, what's falling down from heaven? Nothing is falling from heaven. No, no, these are only actions we do, but we have to work. Muslims don't sit home and you sing a chant, here I go, here I go, come from heaven, come from heaven. And you sit there with your rosemary bees, you say, here I go. That's not what this, this is a joke business. That's not how we do it. Well, like Muslims don't do this. Muslim, work hard, you sweat. <clears throat> oh, I can't take it. I gotta work hard before I get my stuff. See, that? well, like my friend here is bringing me from W10. Took him one and a half hour. My mom wants to go in the fast lane. I said, no, 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 stay right there. Too many police on the road. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show. So we work hard. So Mariam is turning like this. She's shaking the street now, and the day is falling. Then she ends on this day. She decided now to go back home, and the people say, oh, what? Oh, man, what's this? You disgusting. Your mother wasn't a prostitute. Your father wasn't a wicked geezer. He goes like a peacock, jumping everywhere. What are you on about? Mary, what's this? She goes, I'm fasting. I don't want to speak to you, lad. I'm not going to speak. So she goes, she pointed at the baby like this. They says, are you, you, you kind of something upstairs, you know, right in your head? Are we going to speak to a little baby? Then Isa, alayhi salam, in the, the baby in, in the cradle, what did he say? He spoke and he said, he said, I am the servant of Allah and he has given me the wisdom and he has given me the knowledge. So he spoke in the cradle. Miracles for them. Allah can make anything speak. He can make, do you see many people, they're dumb. They, no, I mean, don't mean dumb as in a stupid guy. You know, some people, they, you say, man, why could you not put it over there? You're so dumb. Eh? You pagal, you crazy. Couldn't you put it here? I don't mean this, you can't speak. Some people, invalid, handicapped, one hand, two eyes, no eyes, twisted nose. People born in different shape. Now Allah, he made this. Allah is the one who, he, he makes whatever he wants. So he can make the baby in the cradle speak if he wants. He can make the, he can make anything speaks if he wants, because he is Rob, he is Lord. How much time do I have? One five. I knew you were gonna do that to me, man. So, again, if you want me to stop, no, I can stop now, man. See, some people are very cross today. Why are you not smiling? Speak English. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me very serious. I like this. Wicked. So now the baby is speaking and the people is like, whoa, this is a miracle. This is great. We like this. The baby is speaking. So they're like, oh, calm, chill out. Let's chill out. This, this is great. Look, a baby is saying this. <laughs> my mom is good. The baby says to them, my mom is wicked. My mom is okay. <laughs> This is inspiration. This is this is great. This is great news. Chill out, you guys. Come on, take it light on my mom. Cool, yeah? So everyone chill out. Then comes Isa alayhi salam. We believe that Jesus, on whom be peace, was one of the slaves of Allah. We believe he was a slave, a servant. We believe he was a prophet. We believe he came and he taught a message to the people and uh, he was inspired, he was given 
you know, he was given power. You see, when you're a leader, you need some power. You see them big world leaders today, they have some real wicked M16s. Come on, you know this more than me. They need power. Every king need power. You know the powers of these of these prophets. It used to be miracles. Moses alayhi salam. What was his power? Did he had a big building where he can sit there in the middle of Westminster and make some rules? No, it was a stick. It was a stick that you hold and you walk on the road like this. But in this stick, it was it was it was mighty. It was powerful. It was full of wonders. His stick swallowed up the sticks of every one of the, those magicians and every one of them turned and became a Muslim because his miracle is greater. And then the same stick, he, he touched the ocean one time, the Red Sea, and it opened 12, 12 pathways like this. So the 12 tribes of the children of Israel would walk through like this, and then they would win those like this, and they watch their brothers walking along so I'm walking here and I'm seeing my man is walking on the next side so I know he's safe he's wicked he's good man yeah so 12 streams will open up powerful they need power what was the weapon of Noah what was Noah's weapon what did he use to save the world a big ship not the Titanic the Titanic was built out of what pride boasts Right? They claim they, we challenge God. First voyage. Can you imagine an ice? Oxen. Whole ship is down there. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, you know. Can you imagine this? Then they made the challenger. So we're going to conquer God. First voyage. Mil oh my, these Americans, they do a lot of things to you. We're gonna send challenger to look for God. Shoot, never came back. <laughs> Can you imagine 21st century submarines in the Atlantic Ocean? Two of them crashed like this, died. Where is the technology? <coughs> Can you imagine hundreds of planes just flying out of the skies? Oh, this man is a brave pilot. Whoa, make him hero. Big rose is wrong his neck. But what about them thousands of planes that disappear and no one can bring them back? Who is in charge? Allah! God is in charge. God is in charge. God means creator, cherisher. He provides food. He gives you provision. He brings rain. Show me which leader and which war leader can bring rain down for you and make trees grow. Only God can do this. Only God can do this. And we say, we don't say God because the word God, you can say gods, you can say goddess, you can say goodness. You see so many things you can say. But we say Allah, Arabic is simple. So when you hear me say Allah, no, I'm saying creator, cherisher, Allah. So Allah is in charge. He made Maryam. You know what? He made Maryam no father. That's cool. Wallahi, well, that's cool. Because he made Eve from a man. Who was Eve's mother? Who was Eve's mother? None. So he made a woman from no mother. And he made Isa from no father. He made you and I, oh, but I'm suggesting you, who made you? A mother and a father, yeah? Every one of us. Did anyone follow from the skies? No. <laughs> Sisters at the back, you follow from the skies, from heaven. No. no one followed from heaven. No one. So we were made from father and mother. Adam! Who was his father and who was his mother? None. None. See that? So he can make you from father and mother. He can make you from no father, no mother. He can make you from no mother like Hawa. And he can make you from no father like Isa. 
What's so difficult for God to do this? 